How would you flip the switch from leading yourself to leading others? The first thing to lead is continue to lead yourself because by default, you lead by example more than you lead by your words. It's just like with, like, I'm, I'm learning how to be a parent. I've never been a parent before. I mean, I have a nine year old and seven year old. I am learning this. I know by the time they're 20, I will have a lot to share with other people, but I know this for a fact. They cuss. Why do they cuss? My kids say dirty words. Why do they do that? <laughs> so I can't tell them not to unless I'm, I do know that. Like I know that I cannot expect them not to because they're modeling what they hear me say even on stage. All right, now I'm a firm believer that respect other people's boundaries, but like Mitch, he has this open word policy at his house. Like they can say anything to each other, right? Um, and so I kind of believe in that because you're not going to shield them from that. And I like who says that damn is a bad word? Like who, who gives that meaning? You know, it doesn't say in the Bible that that's a bad word, right? Like we as society, as humans, we give it meaning. And so... For me, I think that just to realize, number one, by leading yourself, you are leading others. And then number two, I think, which is, you know, I'm, I'm learning even to this day is another great way to lead is the, the only way you can lead someone else is by example first, but you have to know what they want. If you're leading them towards your goals, you're never going to be an effective leader. And so I think starting off by listening to where they're at you know, is, is very important. Um, so I'm going to tell you what nine out of 10 people need. And if you can establish it yourself by leading yourself, by finding yourself, by doing the work is they need certainty. They need confidence. So they need someone that has the baton that says, I got the way I'll show you how to do it. Let's go. Period. That's what they need. And so the more confident you can become, the more certain, the more belief, and you have to work on that every day the easier it is that transfers into them. They'll be calling you because every day they're like an emotional roller coaster. But like the minute you step on pause and they don't have that in their life, they start slipping back down to their comfort zone. It's knowing when to push and pull, but it's also staying engaged, staying engaged, staying engaged. And they just need that certainty. If he can do it, I can do it. That's what everyone needs. If I can do it, you can do it. If she can do it, then I can do it. You know, what you seek, you shall find. And if you find it, you have sought it. So if you find an excuse to quit, you were looking for an excuse to quit. If you found something to be mad at, you were looking for it. You seek and you shall find. So if you find something that you're holding on to, you were looking for that. Does this make sense? But that is the number one thing that you can give someone, you know, and it's hard to give belief if you don't have belief, you know, and it's okay. You know, sometimes they need to borrow your belief till they can get their own, but they will find their own. And so I, I hope that answered your leadership question. Thank you. You're welcome.